good, Malia? Looks beautiful. And that's your bad side. Yep, very good. That looks lovely. I like him right here. Just stay here for a bit to memorize it. And out of this big, big, big trot, when you're ready, whenever he's ready, gradually into canter, but out of this big trot. So take your time. Don't say when to canter. Just let him know he can canter any time. Just stay with his feet. Step in your stirrups. So he really pushes off from behind. So that instead of lifting with his front end, he propels himself into the canter with his hind legs. Give him a moment here before you canter because he's busy. Just a little feeling of preparing. Really nicely done, Malia. Step in your feet. Sit up a little bit. Don't push down with your seat. You want to have just a tiny air cushion under you so when he drives up under and his back lifts, then he lifts you so you're not pushing down. Collect, you're just collecting the front feet a little bit in time with the steps. And then when you feel him really come through, lower his hindquarters a little bit and wait in front, then you give a little so you can get a little bit more of a falling down neck. Collect your front feet, step in your stirrups, a little rain back balance feeling. It's okay. That was good. And then, then you give a little bit and see if he'll just reach. Collect the front steps again. A little bit more. Keep the hind legs coming, though. And what you, he has to understand, when you reach for the reins, not only, not only want him to collect the front feet, but you want the hind legs to surge under. Come a little more out with your, your right rein. Just feel that right front foot. Keep them a little bit of bend to the left, though. Keep the left front and the left hand. That's much better. I can give there a little bit. Then step by step, start turning. Step by step, collecting the front feet. Begin turning in until he trots. Very nice.